How you doing, Dom? What's up, man? Yeah, it's good to see you. So LBX developed a, a combat suit, and it's um, it has a lineage. You want to kind of talk about Tony Blauer's beer Absolutely. system? Absolutely. So obviously, this about. thing's come a long way, but it's important to talk about where it started. And you know, Tony Blauer and the spear system, and the way he developed this suit for guys to run out there and do scenario training, reality-based training for law enforcement, military, civilians. Has been, has been huge. MMA, yeah. absolutely. You always see Tony going with MMA guys. In fact, I was just training with Tony this weekend here in Vegas, and it's always great to get with him and kind of go through, you know, where all this stuff came from. So with that background and looking at where Tony came from with this suit, it's important to see where we're going now. And obviously, it's always an evolution. And so, it's completely different because I was familiar with it. Oh, you see, so you did see the old one. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So this is entirely new, but it's got a lot of the same foundation, and. When guys give end user feedback, whether it's you know from the military, from law enforcement, you know it's they're always wanting to see something late, you know the latest and greatest equipment. So we're dumping that feedback into the new suit. So what you're seeing here is an evolution where it started with Tony in the high gear suit. Now, one of the important things is, is MMA guys are using this, guys that run scenario training are using this. So and you can it adapt it quickly. You it don't has have to. to be able to adapt, right. right? And what I mean by that is right now the setup, you've probably never seen a combative suit sit here with mags on the front of it. So how do law enforcement and military guys run? They run with their mags in the front. So we simulated kind of wearing a carrier and being in the, in the same setup you're gonna be in in reality, so get it even closer to what you're gonna be uh, using on target. So this, can, this flap can actually come off. You can put a bunch of different flaps on here. We're making scenario flaps with you know, an IED, a flat panel. The flat panel is usually used for MMA. So when you do that, when you take the flat panel on, this shield here can actually be removed from the helmet. And I've actually got um, Dylan here with me and he's gonna demo that. So Dylan's being a good sport. We'll face smash him here in a couple minutes. See the impact. So what I mean by the, how the suit adapts is that the configuration it's in right now is that if I took the shield off, you could use it in the MMA setup where you remove it, and now it looks like a regular boxing helmet. And there's no hard, no hard pieces. To there's no hard pieces. This new material that we have on here is called Poron XD, and we've all seen D30, the orange stuff that everybody thought was really cool. And you know, basically, we we dumped that because it's not doing what it said it was going to do in the lab and on testing, and even using it now. This impact resistance for this and the layers of foam that we put in this helmet is superior to anything that's on the market right now. So with the adaptability of going from a front panel that's flat, we streamline everything, we take the shield off, now you can put it in the cage, roll around, you're not getting hung up anything. Scenario-based training, now you're starting to talk muzzle strikes, harder equipment, armor, so now you have more impact. So when you do that, you need this face shield. Sim rounds. Sim rounds, and uh, that's a good point. I'm glad you brought that yeah. up. So go ahead and put the shield down, Dylan. So you put the shield down, it locks in, it has these tabs on the side that fold in, and now you're in scenario training mode. We designed this helmet so you don't have to buy an extra piece to put on there, like a, a mask or a sheet. And typically when you run in the scenario mode, they have holes that the sim can go through. So instead of buying an extra piece, this is how you get it right here. It's in scenario mode, you can shoot it with sim, force on force, uh, the UTM rounds. We've, we've shot every single one of those at this helmet. Um, and this, this face shield completely removed. So when you're doing scenario training, in between runs, if you're getting hot and you're doing a debrief, you can take this up and just kind of hang and let some air roll through, which will uh, kind of create a little bit more efficiency with your training. So adaptability is the key thing here with this suit, with the helmet, with the torso, with the legs. Um, a lot of guys complain, again, this is all end user feedback. A lot of guys were complaining they were getting chafing on the arms, the legs, the pants. So we, up the straps. we completely went through and softened everything up. So if you're an MMA guy and you're literally running your compression shorts, you can slip this whole suit on over you just with compression shorts and you're not going to get any chafing anywhere. So not only is it extremely comfortable, but it's, uh, it's performance with the impact and the layers of foam that we put into it, again, is absolutely superior. And we beat the crap out of this stuff, and uh, it's, it's a constant evolution. So with all those organizations giving us feedback, this is where we ended up. So it wasn't just one guy saying, I got a good idea. It was everybody in the industry dumping their feedback into this. And it's all made in the United States. And that's the best part about it. It's all made in the United States. So even though it's LBX with some of the other products made overseas, this whole suit, everything about it is made in the United States. <laughs> it has been... When you say berry compliant and you say everything's made in the U.S., I think some people actually, you know, they say that, but it's not true. Right. We went through every step to make sure 
every stitch, every piece of foam in this is made in the United States, which was one of the most difficult things to do, but we're proud to say that. And uh, that's with most of the LBX line, especially the Combatives line, everything was made here. So, Well, I want to see you guys demo it. So we'll uh, stop the cameras for a minute Absolutely. and reset up. Hey, Don, I want to thank you so much for showing us everything. Absolutely. And uh, good luck to you, your NRA ventures Appreciate and uh, your it, new man. company you got set up. Absolutely. Keep crushing it, man. All right, we'll thank you.